and Jamal Jemedari Gaddafi. <laughs> Welcome to the KTN family. Yvonne, take it Thank away. You. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you the newest members of the team, Michelle Ngele, Jamal Gaddafi. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. From 6,000 to two people. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long journey. Absolutely. You know, even when I got employed, I never got a trophy. <laughs> so, you know, good for you. <laughs> Tell me, Michelle, were you expecting this win? Uh, did you have a speech written out? And what do you think? Um, what's, what's next for you here at KTN? I mean, you know, tell us how you're feeling now. Well, I am so excited. I <laughs> it doesn't show right now, but I'm so excited. I did not expect this. To be honest, at all, I mean, I knew I knew people was voting out there, but then I was competing. I was up against someone very strong, and I have to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. And so it could have gone either way, right? Right. And so I had a speech written out for when I don't win. Instead oh, of really? When I win. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal, you had a speech written out for winning. For winning. I like that. Congratulations! Still, uh, it's still, still, here. still here. Do you want to read it? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Some excerpts it's of it. It's kind of long. Um, Good. Tell me how you're feeling now, and you know mm, what this means for you. Uh, Nirusu to make soil. Ndo luga yangu sinde. Entertainment. Nam, jungu kwa liko simkoko. Uh -huh. uh, na kusema kwa li na furai sio kifani. Sezi Express na vojiskia sahi. Na nataka ushukuru tana sana uh, familia yangu kwa support aloni pa kwa nzima mazoea dun pofika. Na pia nimbudishe mje zimu kushukrani. Manake kama si e pia ni KTN the presenter singe pia wangu ni ona. Mm. Pia nimbudishe mje zimu kushukrani. Na mashabiki wangu wote. Mm. Manake katika campaign wame nsaidia tu sana. Mm -hmm. Nathani pia uhuru wa maraila kitaku sumo matene. <laughs> Anione. <laughs> you, have the you see, I like this, guys. <laughs> yeah, quite a board. natural, quite a natural when it comes to entertainment. Michelle, tell me about this dream that you've pursued uh, for quite a while and, and what this win now means for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'd like us to just you know, take a peek into the future. Where do you think you will be in this industry? What's your goal? What's your dream? Absolutely. Well, this dream started about six, seven years ago. Six years ago, to be exact, when I saw uh, the finale of the presenter season Edith one. Kimani. And so I yeah. saw Edith win. I'm like, you know what? I want to be like that girl. Yeah. And so when the presenter season two came, I came for the auditions. And who do I find at the judges' table? <laughs> Edith Kimani. Yeah. And then along the competition, the, the judges make her my mentor. Yeah. You know, and you know, I feel like I'm relieving. It's like history repeated itself. She was the only last girl standing in the finals. I was the last girl standing in the finals. I ended up winning this. And I feel like it's such a good story for me to tell. Right. And um, in five years' time, I expect to be one of the best anchors the organization has on staff. I want to be a voice that people can look up to. I want to be um, someone people can, you know, I can command authority. People want to listen to what I'm saying. Absolutely. You're already on the way to doing that. Yes. Already. Thank you. I'm seated here looking at you, and you should be here. Absolutely. And hopefully, five, six, seven, however long it takes, you should be here doing checkpoints on Sunday instead well, of me you. at some point. <laughs> Jamal, no. finally, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Five years back, I was in the Pulse of the interview with my mother. I was in the middle of the interview. Na unuliza kitu gani ambayo unazimia nilisema mimi na, nataka kuwa mtangazaji bora mm -hmm. ata Afrika najiona mtangazaji bora Afrika hiyo ni mtoto ambao nilikuwa nayo certain kitu nimeshtukia the presenter yani safari imeanza yani safari ndio imeanza na najua itakuwa changamoto kufanya kitu kizuri kwenye macho na masikio mm -hmm. ya, ya watu mm -hmm. kitu kizuri ambacho kitakubalika mm -hmm. na wash, yani washikaji wangu wanaotazama na pia KTN kwa jumla. Yeah. Najua nina safari ndefu na najitari ni najua ni kwenye medari lakini sijakamilika. <laughs> Kila safari huanza na hatua moja. Na hatua moja. Sasa well, najua mtani mtanjenga zaidi. Oh, by the time kamili. by the time we're done with both of you you will not just be the best TV presenters and anchors at KTN you'll be the best in the country so thank you so much welcome home thank, thank you. you welcome thank you to you the so family much. i know we'll be interacting quite a bit yeah. you will be under my wing michelle specifically <laughs> for quite a while michelle ngele and jamal gaddafi you interact. the ktn presenters yes i was your mentor well, <laughs> Uh, there's one more thing actually yeah. people don't know that Jamal and I have been friends for about seven years now. Oh really? Yes. Seven well, because the presenter. Oh, so this is awesome. Really good. What yeah. a great story. Yeah. yeah. What a great story. We look forward to seeing more and more of them on your screens. You voted for them. You decided. KTN, the presenter season two, the winners with us. I won't uh, keep them much longer. I understand there's an after party that's happening after the news. So we'll let them go and then we will have a more serious interview that's coming up in just a bit. We'll be speaking with Winnie Bianima, the executive director, Oxfam International. We'll be speaking on a range of issues, including that elusive formula 
for women's rep representation in the country and what it means for development, not just here, but in the region as a whole. Stay with us. This is KTN Weekend Prime. Good.